So the other day I was shopping on Amazon and I was just having a little browse through the car cleaning section and there was a couple of products that caught my eye but there was one in particular that really did grab my attention and it was this from Meguiar's and it's called Scratch X and although it does sound like a Vin Diesel film I couldn't resist but to buy it and the reason why I purchased this was because I saw it had over 8,000 reviews and that got me thinking with that many reviews in the best sellers section surely they must be doing something right so in this video i wanted to find out exactly what it was okay so what's the deal with this product anyway well i paid about 12 pound 50 for it and like i said before it was one of the best selling products across the uk so i thought i need to get on board with this because there's a lot of you out there buying it so we need to find out what it is it can actually do and how it can benefit you and we need to find out, of course, whether it actually works or not. So basically, this is just a fine scratch and blemish remover. And they say on the label, it is a must have product for those isolated paint problems. So we're not talking about the entire car here, unless you look at the car I'm about to feature, which is horrendous, by the way. And it's totally safe on all paint finishes, apparently, but I still wouldn't use it on matte finishes, of course. Um, and there's also a couple of little things it's got in here. So it basically says Meguiar's Scratch X is the perfect choice to remove light scratches, scuffs, and paint transfer. And it also goes on to say Meguiar's Scratch X exclusive Supra Micro abrasive technology removes blemishes quickly while advanced pomela wax protects the finish. So it has got a bit of protection in it. If anything, this just sounds like Auto Glim Super Resin Polish. I could be wrong by the way. And it also goes on to say you can use it by machine and by hand, but I'm pretty sure the people who buy this product will be the ones who don't have a machine polisher. So basically this is gonna be tailored for those weekend warriors out there who just don't wanna jump in with machine polishing or just your average Joe who just likes to keep on top of their car. And of course they've got loads of health and safety warnings with this, so you do need to be very careful. Like all compounds, even like this Cartex stuff, which I really like by the way, so it goes on to say yeah, it causes skin irritation, may cause damage to internal organs. God, that sounds like something I said to my wife the other night. Uh, yeah, exposure to the nervous system, harmful to aquatic life, including Aquaman. You have to be very careful using these products, just like anything here that we have on display. Everything comes with its own dangers. Make sure you carry out the correct procedures and use it in a well-ventilated area. Anyway, I need to show you guys the car that we're gonna be working on because this is my wife's Kia Sportage. I featured it in another video before. It needs a heck of a lot of work done to it. And there is gonna be one day in my diary, maybe two days, where I'm actually gonna take time off work and I'm just gonna focus solely on cleaning this and making it look brand new again because as soon as that car looks good, it is going because I absolutely hate it. My wife, she can't admit it. She knows it's rubbish, but she's just in denial, I think. But anyway, let's have a look at the paintwork because if you look close, you'll see, I mean, look at it, it is diabolical, but there's just so many scratches all over it. I mean, there's not a single panel where there isn't some huge gouge out of it or chips. It's just awful. I mean, this area here, this is something I wanna have a look at because I mean, look, we've got some deep ones, we've got some fine ones, we've got a mix of everything. And surely we can improve that just with this one product. Right, so we're gonna get going anyway. I've got multiple cameras set up. Look, this is gonna trigger some of you detailers off. Look at this, we could potentially cause scratches. It's quite a cool tool actually. But luckily, I've got my scratch remover that's going to hopefully sort that out. So even if I did mark it, I'm golden. Okay, so the first scratch I want to work on, or scuff shall I say, is just this little blemish up here. I couldn't really quite get it right on the camera, you couldn't really see it on there. So what I'm going to do is just pull up my phone and show you guys because I think it's important. Oh, for God's sake. See, this is what happens. Whenever you're trying to record something serious, you get your mates send you pictures of Claire Balding for crying out loud. Why? Why, Jay? So what I'm gonna do is now put my camera on and you can see here on this, on the mobile phone, it's actually, yeah, it's quite bad actually. And there's also two similar scuffs up there as well, which I'm gonna sort out now. Cause I, yeah, I think that should be no problem for this Meguiar's product. Right, so let's do it. I'll tell you what is funny by the way, because Detailers and car cleaners, they get so triggered when they see someone using a sponge. When they wash their car with a sponge in a circular motion, it's forbidden. But when you polish a car with a sponge in a circular motion, it's all okay. Now for the buffing off. Oh, okay, that's crikey. That's not actually that bad. I can still see the mark there. I'm gonna go over it again. I can just about see that. 
Let me pull up my camera. Again, I swear if Claire Balding appears, I'll be well annoyed. Right, I can see a little, well, God, you can barely see it on here, can you? Oh, you can just about catch it in the light there. But that is barely visible. However, when you use this product, it is very similar to T-Cut. You get this white patch, which I don't know if you can see it in this light. I can certainly see the outline here, and that's not just the lighting. Don't know, don't know what to make of it yet. Anyway, we've only just started. Let's give it another chance and let's see what it can do. For the second attempt, I gave moderate pressure with my turbo hand, and this time I was hoping for better results. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a fly on there. I can't kill him. Hang on. Yeah, those marks are not coming out. There's no way. The rest of it, though, to be fair, looks quite nice. I'm not saying it looks like it's been machine polished, by the way. I'm just saying, as far as a buff-on, wipe-off product goes, that actually ain't that bad. Really nice. I mean, we are testing all sorts of marks here, so it's not going to be able to get everything out. And I think you just got to have realistic expectations if you are going to buy something like this or any compound for that matter. I mean, even if I got some of the car tech that I've got over there, it still probably wouldn't be able to get this out. That's a nasty gouge, but at least we know what we're working with now. Yeah, the rest of it's not that bad. Or is it because it's got the wax in it, it tends to make it look a lot better than it is? Is it hiding those imperfections? Is it filling up any of those little marks that you might think, okay, it actually doesn't look too bad? The next thing on the list that we really do need to try out are these scuffs here. Now, they're quite different to the ones that we just saw up there. Those, in fact, I, I still don't know what has actually caused that. I don't know what could have potentially done that. It's like it's gone into the paint. I have no idea. If any of you know, let me know in the comments if you can even see it on the camera. These are proper little scuffs. This looks like they've hit a low pillar or something. You can see, or another car. And again, I don't think we're gonna get a miracle out of this. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I need you guys just to see. I mean, there is some fancy marketing and packaging here on this. Yeah, it does remove scratches, but only very fine ones. I mean, this isn't like a heavy cutting compound. This says it is for fine scratches and blemishes. So it's definitely not something you're gonna to wanna to be using over the entire vehicle with a machine polisher. It just wouldn't make sense. Okay, so looking at it now on this camera, there are some nasty marks here still. I mean, this is savage. At this point, if you can't machine polish that out, it's time to get it resprayed. Realistically, again, by hand, if you don't have a polisher, this is not gonna be fixable. So looking at these scratches here, there's one thing that I have noticed. They're definitely not fine scratches. These are quite deep. But that got me thinking because this product is called a scratch remover, and yes, it does remove fine scratches, but when you look at it at this point of view, I'm wondering, is it because that this is called a scratch remover that people are just buying it willy-nilly without doing enough research? If you read the small print, it does clearly say on the label, it's a fine scratch and blemish remover. So they're technically not doing anything wrong because I did see some of those reviews and people were quite critical saying that it doesn't remove scratches, but it all depends on what you define a scratch actually is. I mean, there's no way of denying it. This is classed as a scratch, but I'd say it's a very deep one at that. So we're gonna try and work on some finer scratches, which I can see here. And I'll pull my other camera up in a minute so you can see too. This is a fine scratch, it's not that deep. I think we can definitely enhance it by hand, but this might be one that I'm gonna break out the machine polisher for just to see how far we can go with it. One thing I have noticed that I really like about this is it doesn't powder up, it doesn't make a horrible mess. And that was something you find quite a lot with super resin polish, although it's a wonderful product, I mean, we're in the middle of summer right now. It's actually pretty hot, I'm sweating. I know I'm inside, I'm in controlled conditions, so it's not as difficult for me, admittedly. If I was outside right now, I'd probably be struggling. But nevertheless, it's still not really powdering up. And I think maybe that could be another reason why people enjoy using it, because it is one of those products. It can enhance your paint, but it's just, it is a bit effortless, actually. It's not difficult. I mean, it'd be great if it could do even more, but as I've said before, just got to be realistic with your expectations. Just about see it there. I'm going to try and catch it in the light. It's so difficult to film. That's horrible. That's not coming out either. But I mean, from a distance, you could look at that and go, oh, the reflection shot. Almost, almost come out. Look at that. So close. The funny thing is, there are some very fine scratches around the main scratch that actually have come out. So they're not lying. 
it really does work. We're just gonna apply a small amount onto the pad, work it in, and hopefully, this time around, it's gonna be problem solved. Now I'm just going over here with a few passes, so nothing too crazy, but hopefully this will be enough to make a difference. Right, this time around, surely, surely we're gonna have a lovely finish. Come on. Oh, it's looking good. I can still see it though, but I will tell you this now, most people looking at this would say that is plenty good enough. The average Joe wouldn't be able to see that. It's only because I've got the light coming down here I can realistically see it. So I think if you're very hypersensitive and you're a bit OCD, will it bother you? I don't know. I mean, you can barely see it on there. Honestly, the scratch is just above my finger. Look, if you look in the right light there, you can just about catch it very, very faintly. But that's if you're looking really close. If we stand back, honestly, it's not that bad. And this is where it gets interesting because you can see where they've scuffed something just horrendously. And somebody's tried to respray it and they've not done a very good job. So I'm very curious to see how much better we can make this. I believe we're gonna be able to enhance it quite a lot, but let's just find out. I did carry on polishing on the front, but after a few more seconds, I realized it was just too far gone. But all in all, it was a good test. To be honest, I actually thought this was a fairly decent product. If you know what you're going to get out of it, I think it's gonna be fine for most of you. But there again, I do believe that if you just wanted to enhance your car and remove those fine swells and scratches, then realistically, I would go for an all-in-one. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. And if you love videos like this, then I have two amazing videos that you can go and watch right here.